Hey guys, how are you and welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I have an exciting video because it's about my Franken palette. I know you guys loved it, but today I have a more important thing to do before I show you my update on this palette, which is amazing, is that one of you, let me see her name, Emma Emily asked for a few comparisons so that she could know which palette to get. Since the cranberry palette that I have is the first one that they came up with because it has the creamy matte formula, the cream to powder formula that Natasha Denona came up with and now she reformulated it. So she wanted me to find dupes within the other palettes, the love one, the metropolis one. I wanted to do that for her. I'm not that good at doing this, but I'm gonna just do close-ups. I'm gonna do my best. If you wanna see my update, how many shadows I hit pan on for my Franken palette, and you wanna see a few comparisons in between Natasha Denona palettes, if you're thinking about purchasing one, or if you loved the Cranberry palette and you wanted to get it, but you don't know about the new formula that she came up with, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing that I did is just I placed all the eyeshadows. I have three eyeshadows from this palette on my Franken palette, so I placed them back in so that I could know the names and I could know where the shadows came from. And then I also placed a few of the Metropolis shadows that I had on my Franken palette on the Metropolis palette so that I could swatch them for you guys. And I placed one or two of the Love palette eyeshadows Again, just to know the names and tell you the names when I'm doing the comparisons. Okay, so what Emma is telling me is that she wants to know or she wants to choose between the Love Palette, the Sunrise Palette, and the Cranberry Palette. This is a hard choice. That depends if you want more cool tones than you are with the Love one. If you love more of the orangey, yellowy, sunrise colors then you can go with uh, the sunrise palette which is one of my favorites if not my favorite palette i i'm in between a few but the sunrise palette is definitely one of the ones that i want to reach for the most and then the cranberry palette for me was amazing when i heard that they were changing the formula i love the cream to powder formula from natasha denona so i love this formula that it comes with and i wouldn't change it so I love this one, but it's just five eyeshadows. They're amazing, but they're just five eyeshadows. So if I had to choose between the three, I would choose the Sunrise, but I will do the comparisons anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna go based on the Cranberry palette. The first eyeshadow that I have here is Daisy, which is a chroma crystal, which is basically a topper, and it's really pretty. You can see it right here. I'm gonna be swatching them here, and then I will do a close-up. This is really nice because it can be a topper, but it also has a base and it's one of the most beautiful shades in the palette and it's one of the most unique. So the ones that I think about comparing it to are Pure Love from the Love palette, which is deeper and it doesn't have the chroma on top. So the shimmer on top, it doesn't have it. You can see that they look similar. This one has sort of a duochrome, the one from the Love palette, and it tends to look more dark when you move your face. This one stays bright. And then the other one, it's the one from the Sunrise palette, it's called Aster. And I think this one is also a duochrome and this is more purpley with a hint of blue. So they're different, but you could use them for the same purpose. The Sunrise and the Cranberry one are more similar and they have more a brightness to them. And this one has a little bit more darkness, the one in the Love palette. So I'm actually changing the light so that you can see the colors in a more realistic way up close. Okay, so now I will go in with this shade right here, which is called Botanical. She told me that she thinks this one looked like Helena from Metropolis, and I don't find that to be the case. This one has a bit of a shift that makes it look pink in a way. I don't know, it's just a different... You can see that it turns pink when I move it around. It looks orange when I look from one angle and then it can look pink. And for me, that's just amazing. I love that eyeshadow and the formula is impeccable. Then I'm gonna go in with Helena from the Metropolis palette and swatch it right next to it. This one is way more orange and it doesn't have the same shift. You can see that the one on bottom, which is the cranberry shade called Botanical, it has a pink shift to it. And then I will go in with Acelia from the 
sunrise palette i think this is gonna be more similar to it yeah this one is more similar but it's a little bit deeper and it has more pink in it than the one in cranberry but this is the one that's the most similar to it acelia from the sunrise palette they both have the pink and orange tones to them and then i also wanted to compare it to given from the love palette so that you can see which one you like the best but this is way more pink and way lighter. This is more of a topper. So Sunrise and Cranberry so far are the same or more similar when it comes to botanical. Okay, so the one right here is the one from the Cranberry palette. Then the one right here is the one from Sunrise. This is Helena from the Metropolis palette. And this is Given from the Love palette. You can see that these two are the most similar. They're not the same. This one is deeper, the one from the sunrise, but they're similar and they switch the same way to the same color. But this is way more orange, the one that you said in the Metropolis one. Now I have here the two colors that come in the Cranberry palette, the two cream to powders that everyone was complaining about. I think they are not the easiest to work with, but they are a formula that once you get used to it, you can work with it. And I truly like it. I truly find it to be super pigmented and nice so now i'm gonna see if i can find some reddish dupes that i don't think i will in these other palettes i'm gonna grab heart from the love palette is this red right here it's similar to this one and the formula is different and then heartbeat from the love palette yeah they're similar so if you would like to have those shades they're in the love palette and then I'm also going to swatch Glory and Clove from the Sunrise palette. So this is Clove. Basically the same color as Heartbeat. And then I'm going to swatch Glory from the Sunrise right here. I knew this was going to be more of a fuchsia shade. So you can see them right there. So you can actually find dupes in the Love palette for both of the shades in the Cranberry palette, the original formula. They're just a different formula. They're more wet and they're more sticky in a way. The way you apply them, they when they set, they set. And if you don't blend them well, they're going to look like uh, a stripe. So they're just not easy to work with. But when you are used to them, then you truly love them. So you can see them right there. You can see this one doesn't have anything to do with the color palette because it's more of a fuchsia shade. But then these two in the center are, are the ones from the cranberry palette and then these are two that are from the sunrise palette one from the sunrise and one from the love palette and they're basically dupes then you can find both of the shades from the cranberry palette in the love palette so for me within the cranberry palette the shimmers are the colors that i tend to reach for the most the metallic shades so i wouldn't purchase a palette just because it had the two same mattes I would purchase them because they had similar metallics. So if you're looking for similar metallics, then you have the Sunrise palette. When it comes to Acelia, it's the same as Botanic. And it has, I think, which one was it? I think Aster had a similar shade to the one, the Daisy shade, but it's not the same. And then this one, which is one of my favorite, if not my favorite, Natasha Denona shadow, Nude. None of them have them, but I'm going to swatch and see if I can find a few shades that are similar to it in these palettes. So that you can see and decide which ones you would like the most. Okay, so this first one is Nude. And I think this is a beautiful color. I think this is one of the best Natasha Denona shadows ever. I would purchase the Cranberry one just based on out of that one. If you wanna support my channel, just something to say, if you're gonna buy any of these palettes online, it would be nice if you would use one of the links that I leave below. It would help my channel grow a lot and that way I can purchase gadgets, sort of like this one, so that I can do tutorials on my iPhone for my Instagram or that I can purchase things to review since right now my channel doesn't give me extra money to buy things to review. So if you're gonna get any of the palettes, just get them from the link below. I get a small commission for the purchase that you make through the links. Okay, so this is Nude from the Cranberry palette. You can see the glow on this one. This is basically 
a bridal color. I use this on brides. I've hit pan on this one because I have double because this was on the Aries palette as well. It was a holiday limited edition one. So I'm going to compare this to Lifetime from the Love palette. This right away, it's way more orangey. It's beautiful, but it's way more orangey. Then I'm going to compare it to Transparent from the Love palette as well. This is more similar, but it has a pinky hue. Beautiful as well. I love them both. I love these two the most, Transparent and Nude. And then I'm going to go in with Agate from the Sunrise palette. It's more of a gold shade. It's not that nude. It's more of a gold shade. And I will do a close-up. Now I'm going to grab Awakening from the Sunrise palette. And this one I think it's more similar but it's not as vibrant as Nude. And then the color Queen from the Metropolis palette. You can see it right here and this is more of a light gold. So there are no dupes for Nude. You can see it right here. It's more of a cool tone shade. So I will do a close up now. These are harder to see because um, I need to darken the room a lot, but you can see them right there. This one is way too orange and that doesn't work. This is from the Love palette, but you can see right here how beautiful Nude is and how taupey and cool tone is. And these pale in comparison when it comes to the shine that they have. You can see it in the darkness, how that one, those first two shine, and then the rest, they shine, but they don't shine as much. Okay, guys, so now I will show you the palette, and you will see it a little bit different because a few shades that I wasn't using, I removed and I added a few different shades, and I'm, and I'm even thinking about doing this more, like to check this out right now, put pause to the filming, and then choose a few shades and show you the new best palette that I've ever owned because for sure, if you look at it from the perspective that I've been using this palette for two months straight and I can't see myself to just get rid of it and put the colors back to their palettes, that tells you a lot. So a few shades I haven't used, of course, so that means that I wanna rotate them and see if I will use others more. But overall, you will see how loved this palette is. This palette had only one shade with pan on it, which is one from, I think it's the Aries or no. It was the Hoya palette. From the Hoya palette is this color right here. It had only one pan and I'm happy to say that I have nine pans already on this palette. Counting that one, so eight new pans for just one palette. For me, that's crazy. For me, that's just amazing and I've been loving this palette so much and I know a lot of you guys loved this palette. So this is the update. Keep in mind that I've switched a few shades today before filming this video. That's what inspired me to film this video in the first place. So you can see right here the only one that have pan and I've expanded the pan is this one right here that's an orgasm type of shade but I've hit pan in this one. I've hit pan in those two mattes this is the black from Biba, and this is a dark brown that's from the Sunset palette, but the gold palette has the same shade. It's the same shade with a different name. Then this one, I don't remember from which palette this one is, but you can see the pants all over the place. I hit pan on this one today, and then you can see these are from the Metropolis palette, and I've been loving them so much, those browns. And then this pinky shade was the first one that I hit pan on. This reminds me a lot of my favorite shade in the Soft Glam palette, and I couldn't be more obsessed with it. I know that soon, oh, this topper is Sparks from the Gold palette. I've been using it almost every day. Not today because I have an almost complete matte look, except for the hint of blue. It's just beautiful. I know I will hit pan soon in this color from the Cranberry palette. It has a deep on it. Then this one right here, I think this is from the Love palette or the Sunrise palette, one of those two. And then I added today this yellow. This is Lemoncello. This light yellow is Lemoncello from the Tropic palette. And I know I've been using that one more than any other shade in the Tropic palette. So I want to hit pan on that one. 
I've been using this palette overall a lot. I'm gonna swatch the colors that I picked piano so that you guys can see the ones that I reach for the most and I will show them to you. So these two brown mattes that I'm gonna show you are from the Metropolis palette and these are these two right here. I love them to darken my lower lash line, to set my liner. They're beautiful for that. And since the formula is a cream to powder formula, they set beautifully. Then one of the two browns, I don't know this one from which palette it is, but I think this one is from the gold palette. This brown is the perfect transition for me. And then this dark brown from the sunset palette is almost a black. And it can come in the gold palette or the sunset palette. You can see how beautiful that is. The black is definitely my favorite black in my entire collection. It's just wet and beautiful. It comes in the cream to powder formula. That's my favorite formula, I think, from Natasha Denona. It's the one that you can trust the most not to ruin your makeup. Then I have this one here that was the one that already had pan and it's so stunning. It's an orgasm type of shade in an eyeshadow. You can see how metallic and beautiful that is. Then this one which comes from, I think it's bronzage from the Sunset Palette. The Sunset Palette is a nice choice if you're looking for a palette with great colors that are metallics and the gold one as well. And then this is the pinky one that I told you that I hit piano on first. When this eyeshadow is done, I think I will cry. This is my favorite color eyeshadow for sure. And it doesn't look quite like it. It's really pink and it has a darkness to it. Oh, and sparks, which is the topper. I'm going to apply it right here. You guys can see it, but I'm going to apply it also on top of one of these eyeshadows. So you guys can see the difference. I'm gonna apply it on top of the black so that you guys can see how it can switch the color of the eyeshadow. You can see now the black is not that black anymore. It has a hint of gold on top. So that's what I've been using a lot to just shift the color or shift the vibe of my makeup. That's it for the update for this palette. I hope the swatches are good for you guys to choose. I added a few shades, like I said, I added Lemoncello. I added this, this color right here from the Tropic Palette, Pastel Melon. I also added this one from the Metropolis Palette, which is sort of a mustard shade. I added this one, Acelia, from the Sunrise as well. What else? I removed a few because they, they will not fit on this palette. At one point, I would love to do one in my Adept huge palette, a big Natasha Denona palette to see how that one goes. But I will never want to just get rid of this palette. This is my favorite palette in my collection. It's just, it blows my mind how much I love it and how much I want to reach for it and how much I need to make myself go and use other palettes because this is that good. It's just so impeccable. I'm going to show you this. My husband, I made him pick a few eyeshadows for me and he picked this group of eyeshadows. So he created this eyeshadow palette with me and I haven't used it once because I just, I'm obsessed with this. Who would want to play with this when you have this one this is so pretty this is just so pretty and seeing the pan in it actually inspires me to hit more pan in it so i'm gonna do a close-up so you guys can see it i lowered my lights so that you guys can appreciate the colors better and you can see the pans it has a lot of pan and Natasha Denona shadows are really pigmented so you don't actually need to use a lot of it so that means that I've used it a ton and I can't wait to keep using it I just I'm obsessed with it okay so I'm really in love with this palette and I don't see myself getting rid of it so I will keep using it throughout the year and if I have another palette that I want to put in my pan that palette that's okay it's gonna be a companion to this one but I will not remove the eyeshadows from this one and place them back in the regular palettes I will switch the colors that I'm not using from time to time just to make sure that I rotate my collection and love my collection but I will not get rid of the palette 
overall because I'm obsessed with the color scheme and I know and I, that's what I want in my life. I want stuff that I go crazy for that I can use a lot and that I can switch maybe a little bit but that the change will not be as dramatic that I will not want to use it. Sort of like this one. I at some point will go to this one and do a tutorial because it's something that I wanted him to do for me so he did it and I'm gonna use it but this is definitely my favorite palette in my collection and I'm happy that I got to show you guys swatches from other palettes and you guys could do comparisons maybe you can create your own franken palette if you do please tag me on instagram so that's it for this video you guys so if you love the swatches just as an emoji below leave something for the best swatches the cranberry one the sunrise one or the metropolis one or the love one let me know below which one is your favorite and that's it you guys i love you and i guess i'll see you on the next one bye bye